Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a coin flip site for CSGO. This is going to be my first part to my second to my two-part series. Um, so the first thing you have to do is actually go to digitalocean.com and sign up for an account. Once you have your account, you're going to have to add $5 to the account. But if you use my promo code down in the description, it'll actually give you $15 instead of the normal 5 when you deposit 5 Once you do that, you can hit Create Droplet right here. Or just hit Create here at the top. And you're going to select Ubuntu. And you're going to select any 17. I'm just going to select this one. And I'm going to do $5 a month. But if you're making a real site, I would suggest maybe like 15, 10, something like that. But if you're making a super small site for you and your friends or just a demo site like I am, $5 a month will be completely fine. And the location doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to select one close to me. So we'll do that. One now. And that's really all you have to change. You can name it here if you really want to. But uh, I'm just going to hit create. It will initialize right here. And send me an email with the login. Once this is done, I'll pull up the email. And we'll log in. You also need PuTTY and um, FileZilla for this. So PuTTY looks like this. And FileZilla looks like this. So you'll need those to access your site, as well as the IP, which this will give you here in a moment. So I'm almost done initializing. So I should get an email. I just got the email with the login for our solution droplet. So the first thing we're actually going to do is copy the IP. You can just copy it by clicking right here. And we'll open that. And it's going to open up my second monitor and it's going to pop up with this. And I'm just going to say yes. And then it'll come up like this. So I'm going to log in as root. And the, the email you the password. So you're actually going to copy that. And to paste into one of these windows like this, you're going to right click and then hit enter. It won't show any like little dots or anything. So now we're going to put in our current password. So we're going to right click and hit enter enter our new password our new password is just password just so you guys know because I'm going to delete this right after so don't even try to hack it it'll be down by the time this video goes up anyway so good luck so the first thing we're actually going to type in I'm just going to copy off my notes here so I'll to, uh, take time for that app dash get update that's just going to make sure you update up to date on all your drivers and everything for your um, VPS. Not drivers, sorry, um, up to up to up uh, up to the updates of the VPS. Now once that's done, it'll go back to this little uh, pound sign on your green cursor. Now you're going to type apt dash git install Apache 2. And this will be the actual like so you can actually see that your website shows something. When this comes up, you're going to type in a Y. And you're going to hit enter, obviously. That should be getting pretty close to done here. Now we're going to type in apt-get install php. I'm going to hit enter. You're going to hit y. I'm not going to cut any out, any of this loading out and this downloading so you guys can see how long it's actually going to take. Um, it should only take maybe around half an hour to get the site fully up and running. If you guys need any help with anything, let me know down in the comments or add me on Steam if you guys want to purchase the site or need help with it or anything like that. So next thing we're going to do is going to do apt-get install mysql-server. And now when this comes up, we're going to push Y again, then hit enter. And after this, we're going to put in our password. And we're going to repeat it. And I suggest you just keep the pat same password for your, your uh, DigitalOcean Droplet or VPS and your uh, MySQL and PHP. So, PHP my admin, sorry. 
I suggest you keep the same passwords for all those things so you don't have to worry about remembering them. And now we're going to type in apt-get install phpMyAdmin. And there's a few spaces in that. Like that. Now you're going to do Y. Now for this, you're going to push tab, sorry, space, tab, and enter. So you have to make sure you select that. our password now we're going to paste in cd backslash etc backslash apache2 backslash and that will put us into um, that location in the filezilla and just type in this okay sorry I'm back so we can do something else here to make this a little bit easier. So we're, we're just going to do control and then push X at the same time to get out of that. And what we're actually going to do is open up our FileZilla here. And we're going to put in the IP. Let me grab it here. We're going to copy the IP and we have FileZilla. Paste it in there. We're going to do root password. And your port will be 22. Now you're going to push the two dots right here. You will go to ETC right here. And we're actually going to find what we're looking for. Apache 2. Oh, guys, I'm back. Sorry. So, what you actually have to do is do service Apache 2 restart. Sorry, I got kind of. I'm getting a little bit busy here. I'm gonna do backslash patch two, and you're gonna see right here where it says. Sorry, let this map. Where it says a patch of two. Dot config. Open that. Hit view. So I showed it. I'm gonna hit OK. It could take a minute. Let's transfer that. Here. So if I didn't want to open it in notepad and normal notepad, so I just did this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom, and you're going to paste this in. Include backslash etc backslash php by admin backslash patch 2 dot config. You're going to hit save, and what I'm actually going to do is drag this over here and hit OK. It said file transfer successful, so that's going to work perfectly for me. And I'm actually going to do an Apache 2 restart. Oops. Again. And now we're off to our next step. So we're actually going to go back to this. And we're going to back out of this. And we're going to go to var. www html and we're going to delete this index that's in here and hit yes now we're going to go to the down the description download the files and this is what it's going to bring you to and you're going to open up the html folder and you're going to copy all of this and paste it in this could take a decent amount of time to transfer actually it won't take too long
And now we're gonna look for config.php. And we're gonna right click and hit view and edit. And now what you're actually gonna see here is localhost, that's gonna be the, the IP basically. You can leave that as localhost because it's being hosted locally. The DB name is gonna be CSGO. The login is root. And now we're gonna put in our password here. For you guys, it'll be whatever you set your password as. I was just put it minus password because that's what it is. And I'm going to hit save. You're going to close out of that. And you're going to say yes. And that will transfer. And now what you're going to do is we're going to log into the PHP my admin of the site. And do that next. One second. Oops. Okay. So we're going to copy that. Put in that, and we're gonna do PHP my admin. And now for the username, we're gonna put in root and password. Will be your password. Mine's just password, like I already showed you. And I was gonna say never. And we're actually gonna go to new. And we're gonna call it CSGO, no capitals, nothing. And hit create. We're gonna go to the import tab. Hit choose file and I'm probably going to have to blur my screen right here It'll be okay and once we get to the Cisco coin flip files we're going to go to SQL and open the database and then hit go down here at the bottom and now we're going to go to users and I don't believe it all imported. Okay, here we go. And we will go to users and we're going to go to structure. And the first thing we're going to do is go to mute. And we're going to change default as defined. And we're going to go to zero. Save. The next one we're going to do is XP change as defined zero. Then we're going to go to trade link default no and rank. We're going to change as defined zero. Save. So now we did that. We're going to go back to Putty, and we're going to type in apps-get-install-php.json. And app-get-install-php.com. So, and I just installed those two things in the wrong space. So, I'm um, going to just hit OK. I'm just going to close that and open, open a new window for Putty. And I'm gonna copy this there. So, I installed these two things in the wrong place. So I'm just going to run by and redo it. So, if you guys just did what I did, just go ahead and do install app dash get install php.json after you reopen Putty. And then let's do the same, second command. Now, once you do that, we can just copy the IP from right here, and you'll see your new point flip site. So the first thing you want to do is hit login, and you should be able to sign in. And yeah. So in the next episode, we will be making the bots and setting all those up. For now, this is your new point website. So thank you guys for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe.